So here we go, the main event. Hungary versus UK in the under 95 Whoa. kilo division. Bogdan and pick up. This is the right arm. Referee Go. Keith Taylor yeah. setting the guys off, and it's a top roll. The signature move from pickup. No. Bogdan holding, holding with the fingers, but yeah. the wrist is broken back. Ah. And we go to the straps. The strap applied around the wrists, up through the hands. The guys can't escape now, no slip outs. Pick up on the right hand side, former world champion. Now stepping up in weight. The strap always a favourite with Neil Pickup. Always loves it when the strap is applied. Because he's got a smaller hand, when the strap's applied, you can use techniques available to him. And there it is, the big sideways smash. Let out good buzz. Look at the face of Bogdan. Didn't know what hit him. But Neil knew what he'd hit him with. The sideways smash. Neil applying pressure on the setup straight backwards. But then as soon as a referee says go, a change of direction and smash straight down to the pad. Neil will be happy with that one. Bogdan needs to apply the pressure. Needs to be faster than pick up, moving out of position. But again, it's pick up with the advantage early. The top roll into the fingers of Bogdan, but Bogdan, regardless, carries on to the pad. Maybe not a smart move in a six-man, in a sorry, in a six-match tournament like this. The wrist and hand can be blown. Pick up taking advantage. Little bit of a bounce on the wrist, trying to tire out Bogdan's wrist. Bogdan holding on. Like I say, maybe not a smart move. Pick up reversing. Taking hand control early there. But Bogdan, watch as he drops his wrist, looks for the pad, and tries to press. Here's the finish. Pick up, taking off the power for a split second, but then reapplying it into the fingertips of the Hungarian national champion. Taking that match. Bogdan needs to be smarter this time. Can't hold on all day to Neil's top row like that. Needs to be smarter, needs to get the wrist in. He does a little bit more this time. You can see the wrist is straight and not bent backwards. Bogdan needs the hand pressure and the elbow slide to the back of the pad. Try and open up. The natural, but it's pick up with the reversal. Inches from the pad. Angles are important now. Neil needs to angle his body. Bring the left shoulder in. There it is. They slip out though. Bogdan again driving for the pad. But they slip out the strap again, once again applied. This is where pickup is happy and the strap is applied, especially against a bigger man like Bogdan. You can see the hand difference. Pick up with a smaller hand. Which does cause him problems sometimes on a setup. You can see there already Bogdan is climbing above the thumb knuckle. The referee though try and sort that out. Bogdan, susceptible to the side hit, again pick up, 
Going for that, you can see him looking down at the pad. That's who's going to go. There it is. Once again, the sideways smash. There was a glimpse from Neil's eyes, if you watched. Look down to the pad. That was the direction. Straight through Robert Bogdan. Robert again filling his hand, not applying. Smart enough technique here. Go. Filling the hand, and it's only causing Neil something to hit against. But Robert, he doesn't care. He's holding up with his fingertips and still driving for the pad yes. and looking strong. But Neil says, go on then, have a go, see if you can pin it. He couldn't, and Robert's arm came off the front of the pad. Yellow card and one foul. Centre. Arms need to go to Robert. Pick up playing the mind games now, trying to look at Robert Bogdan, but he's not having any of it. Concentrating on the match. A smart move. And he gets a slightly better position for it. But pick up, reverse his, and shocks Robert Bogdan. But back into the hook. Neil took off the pressure, and Robert's been able to come back into the hook. Again, Robert Bogdan just needs to suck that elbow back under. Pick up beat him to the move there. Sucked under, and he's able to apply the angles. But again, they slip out, and the strap will be applied. Will we see another sideways smash? From pickup, Bogdan avoiding high contact. Needs to concentrate on the match. Listening to the referee. Bogdan needs the pressure into the strap. But pickup is posted and ready. Forces it into the hook. Bogdan needs the elbow movement, but it's not happening. No! But he drives, drives, drives. But he's not going anywhere there. He's got to go through the arm of pickup in that position. And it's a can opener. Pickup. Brilliant technique. 4 0 the score. Here comes the can opener. Pressure sideways, complete reversal. Almost a perfect technique. There's someone out there though. Who can do them slightly better. Yes. Mentioning no names. Pick up, pulling Go. off a great move with a top roll. And can opener technique coming from inside to outside. We are back inside for this one. Bogdan again with the elbow foul, yellow card. Both fellas trying to get the tricep on then. And a lot of the time when both guys go for the same technique, elbows can come off the pad. Referee Keith Taylor getting ready to get these guys going. Both guys revved. Big hit inside. Using the bicep now. Pick up, adjusting the body, getting the leg up on the table. And, a, and the triceps in and winner. Tricep press. We've seen them all. Hooks, top roll and tricep. Here we go on the replay. This is the hook using the bicep. You'll see pick up sneaks around with the body. Waits for the breath, sideways press. He gets the tricep on and presses down. The technique is always there with pickup. That's what's made him the most successful arm wrestler out of Great Britain. But Bogdan does have the power. 
Maybe just lacking in some of that Go technique. But to hold in some of the positions he has. This time looking better though. Driving down. Again though, for me, needs the elbow positioning. He's just pressing the tricep there. He needs a better position, but it's pick up with a great Cobra wide back. Brings on the tricep and takes it 6-0.